What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of This Week in Webflow, your weekly Webflow community roundup where we go through the top events and some things you might have missed in the week. So clonables, resources, tweets, things like that that you might want to be paying attention to in the no code slash Webflow slash visual development space. So first of all, iHeartNoCode.com forward slash events is where you can get a rundown of all of these events that we're going to go through and more. We've picked out the top events for the week and we're going to run through those right now. Uh, first things first, we've got this Twitter Spaces hosted by Jonathan Fors with Jara Montez, who works at the education and community team at Webflow. How to build a marketplace without code featuring Connor Finlayson. This is the Webflow Minneapolis meetup group. This is Tuesday, October 18th coming up. Rachel and Kyle do an awesome job and they've got some familiar faces in the crowd. Check that out if you're looking to learn more about marketplaces without code. 100 Days of No Code doing their live demo days. This is Max Heining. If you haven't heard of their 100 Days of No Code, uh, it's a great way to on ramp or to get into the no code world. They're doing their live demos. So if you want to see what people have built, check that out. That's coming up uh, Wednesday, October 19th, 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, but again, if you want to click over here, you can add these to your calendar in any of your local time zones. Coming up this Wednesday, the Speed Build Challenge, the quarterfinals uh, rescheduled from last week. This is a lot of fun. This is going to be a tournament style bracket competition that ends with the finals at Webflow Comp. This was a blast last year. This is totally something that you should check out, whether you're going to the conference or not. You can check this out online. You can check this out in person. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, if you're looking for more events leading up to the Webflow Comp, World Wide Webflow is a website to check out. There's events coming up. Uh, we just had the Tampa Webflow meetup. There's a bunch of meetups on here, how to build a marketplace without code we just talked about. There's watch parties popping up all over here. There's things leading up to the event. And um, if you've got an event coming up, you can send it in to get it listed up here. So check that out. That's it for upcoming events. Again, you can check out the rest of them. Floxes are doing their thing. Aaron's got a live stream. Reloom is doing their uh, Reloom design. Oh, if you've missed this, let's go ahead and let's talk about this for a second because this was a lot of fun. Uh, last week, I helped co-host this. This was a blast. You should check this out. These are like esports for design and they basically are in a, a Figma arena and they have to build. They got 30 minutes to kind of build. They have shared assets. It's a total blast, super cool competition. So that's what's coming up with events in the world of Webflow. Now we're gonna jump into resources and assets and things like that that you might've missed. Uh, the one and only Timothy Ricks has released another clonable using Barba, JS, and GSAP Flip. It's a cool little uh, clonable here that he released. You can jump into, you can drag and drop this thing and when you click in, it actually changes. So that's a page load uh, on click there, which is super cool. It's a resource that you can check out. He's also got a Patreon page that you can subscribe to to learn how to build this thing along with a lot of other things that he does. So Timothy Ricks, if you're not following him, is someone to check out in the world of Webflow. Lottie Files has just updated their platform and uh, introduced a ton of new features. This is the world's largest customizable animation library. If you don't know about Lottie Files and you're getting into motion graphics in the no-code no world, you should know about this. They've introduced collaboration. And then the, the what I think is the best feature is the optimization you can shrink these Lottie files down uh, really tight. So that is a huge feature update. Go check out Lottie files. They launched on Product Hunt. Uh, go give them some love. Vimalon has announced that you can easily create multi-step forms in Webflow using just a couple attributes. So go check that out. That's a great new resource for the Webflow community. Multi-step forms is something we've all tried to create as Webflow developers, and this looks like it makes it super easy. Uh, it's actually really cool. I've got the example open here. It works just like Typeform, except for it's powered by Webflow. Dan Guerra, if you're looking, if you're new to the Webflow world and you're looking for some inspiration, just shared that over the last 15 months, it has changed the way he lives, the ability to support his family uh, with no other source of income. They left a flat in a violent and poor neighborhood and are moving on up. They bought some land, they 5X their budget, and they're doing things freelance, full-time, et cetera, with Webflow. Check it out, give some shout outs to some of the folks in the community. All these folks are killing it in the Webflow community, and you can too. Just start following some folks and get involved, and you can be the next Dan Guerra on Twitter. This was us in Tampa this past weekend. Uh, a bunch of us got together in Tampa, so I see a lot of meetups and different things popping up in the community. Jump in. This is a great time to be entering the Webflow community. And um, yeah, check us out every week. We're doing these weekly roundups. So share the coolest news, features, updates, events, things you want to talk about. We'll bring it up here in this and we'll share it with you all in the community. Join us every Monday for our weekly flow hangouts at 12 p.m. Eastern. We'll catch you on the flip side. Take care, y'all.